Hi internet, so this will be my first video on this channel. I've decided because I am an avid book reader and I keep wanting to make nothing but book reviews that I make my own channel for it separate from any of my vlog stuff because I don't know there's nothing I dislike more than when you subscribe to a channel for one thing that has another. So while my vlog channel is a clusterfuck I figured I'll have a book channel for books. Anyway, for my first book review, I decided to go with one of my favourites, which is the study series by Maria V. Schneider. I think I said that right. I love these books, so it's a trilogy. First you have Poison Studies, Magic Studies, and then Fire Studies. I can't recommend these books more, just as a quick review. Yeah, I just fell in love with the characters and the storyline and I think Maria is now one of my favourite authors. I am also reading another trilogy by her at the moment so we'll see how that holds up. We'll start with the first book in the series, Boys and Studies. I do love this cover of it, though I've found a cover I prefer which I may procure slowly because it's an Australian cover when I find it eventually. It's going to take a while. So the first book in the series is Poison Studies and being that it is the first book in the series you're introduced to all the characters, the style of writing, what the world will be like and such things. So we first meet our protagonist which is Yelena. Yelena? Yelena? I call her Yelena. Um, and it starts off um, pretty miserable I would say. I just, mm. the way it starts off, it could only get better from there, um, you'd think, yeah, starting off feels pretty miserable but then you get straight into the swing of things, you kind of thrown into the story and gradually find out what happened to Elena, you're a bit step ahead of what the other characters knew, so you're pretty thrown in. First you meet Elena, obviously, then you do have a couple of small characters that don't really come up again in the book and you're introduced to the ideas of characters that don't play in until the last book which is nice then you meet uh, another huge part of the book which is Valak who continues throughout the trilogy and I love it continuing on magic studies follows their story and fire studies follows it some more but unless I want to spoil it for you I can't tell you I know, it's killing me. I really want to tell you. Spoilers will be later on. It's okay. <laughs> but I can't recommend the series enough. One of the things I found out that was great about it and I think fueled my main love for it is, how do I say this in the nicest way? The female protagonist wasn't a dumb bitch. It's not like she was like a weak, fragile thing that couldn't protect herself or had to have Valak there every step of the way. She had held her ground. Um, Sort out her, sort out her own problems. In fact, was rather stubborn and hated when other people tried to sort them out for her. So it was good. It follows through the trilogy, following that pattern. There is romance in the book, but it's not romance heavy. I know. As I was reading Poison Studies, it kind of got to a point, and then it hit me. I'm like, wait, there are a couple, and I had to retract a bit and go. Oh, well, yeah, it all makes sense now. It all makes sense but it might not at first. <laughs> um, and it does follow through to the other two books and it's that nice hint of a romance and you get their relationship and things but it's not overwhelming. So if you're reading it for romance purposes probably not a good idea. If you're reading it for fantasy shit with a female protagonist it's kick-ass good idea. Another thing I did like, because it is its own little world, each of the books have a map of the world in them. I don't know if it's picking up. And you explore everything throughout the world, which I found handy. It's one of my favourite things about Lord of the Rings as well, and The Hobbit. And her other book, World Trilogy. Um, so yes. Now, all you need to know is get it. It's fantastic. Check out other booktubers if you don't particularly trust me, then it's a good book. Now, now on to the spoilers. Oh, spoilers, we knew they were gonna come. Love spoilers. Okay. 
I'm gonna keep it short. The spoilers, I fucking love it. <laughs> Obviously. But like, the relationship between Yelena and Balak all the way through, I loved it. Because it was like, at the start it was a love-hate relationship. It was kind of a bit funny at first with how they had such a huge age gap. Um, now like no one else found it weird in the land like later on when they found out about it. But at the same time, I was like, who cares about age? Plus she's an old soul. And yeah. The other thing I did like is I especially did like Ashley Aldora and like um getting the self defense training from what's his face and what's his face's names I can't remember and learning how to use a bow and things like that and you see her progress and not have to rely on other people for it and you see them at like especially with couple you see them all as equals it's not she's super better than everyone or he's super better than everyone or they're super better than everyone or the audience is like yeah they're elite they're pretty fucking good but then they're, they're fallible they're not they're not gonna like not mess up they're gonna mess up I just found it real and even though it was set in a world I'd say 1500s sort of thing style it was believable I, I think the only thing that threw me off was like the hot water and the police but then I remembered it's a separate entity in a completely different world it doesn't join with ours and of course that would happen eventually so you know yeah, what did you guys think of the books? I love them. As you can tell, I will buy multiple copies of these books and I will cherish them. I love them. I've read them like three times. What, at least once a year at the moment. Um, no, that's, that's twice a year now. Okay. Oh, I, I have another. I have to read them again this year and then later on. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. What did you guys think? I obviously love them a lot yeah let me know what you guys think either in the comments below video no it was a video response but it doesn't happen anymore so comments below send me an inbox or something and yeah but yeah i hope you guys are having a lovely week and i will see you next time bye